Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Castle Talk with Shell. Today we are talking about episode 5, Harvest, of Castle Rock on Hulu. Um, right off the bat, Z Zelensky's dead. We got... Yeah, him gone. De definite confina co confination. Conf yeah. Confirmation. That's, that's a word, guys. Yes, it is. <laughs> Confirmation <laughs> that uh, the corpse, he's dead, um, and O. Henry... O. Henry. O. Oh, Henry. Henry. Mm -hmm. O. Henry. Uh, Henry has an ear problem. Um, a but, major ear problem. Right. Dating back to his teens. But, supposedly it happened, or I guess it uh, exacerbated the situation with the shotgun. The shotgun in the ear when, you know, the, the, the prison. Mm. <laughs> uh, one thing to point out in the opening, not not the credits, but you know the opening, like, montage, the, the, where they show, you know, last time on Castle Rock. Yeah. Um, where yeah. they, they showed Nick fist bumping Zelensky. Now, of course, we all saw that. I don't think any of us thought anything about it. And then Zelensky goes off, shoots everybody, and basically, I mean, he didn't kill himself, but he killed himself. I mean, suicide by cop, yeah, however you want to put it. And then later on in the episode, we see Lacey touch Nick. And what happened to Lacey? Lacey, when... 90 and nothing off a cliff with a noose around his neck and got ahead of the situation. <laughs> it's a bad joke. <laughs> but, wow. <laughs> He's yeah. impressive, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone who touches him kills him. And that, but later yeah. on... I'm crazy. Later on, Mama Henry... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... She jumps off know. a bridge. What in the world, y'all? <laughs> Did she touch me? I mean, seriously. I don't know. So far, the answer to that is no, but yeah. we can only just go ahead and assume that she did, and we just don't know yet. Yeah. Um, but it's very specific, because... But the of, issue with that is she's not dead. Yeah, so. she's not dead, So, but not for lack of trying. True. <laughs> um, so, the, the one thing that I noticed in this episode um, is nobody touched Nick. And I'm, I need to go back and rewatch all of this stuff now to find out if anybody else has touched Nick. Um, so has Henry touched Nick? Did Henry touching Nick at some point in time that maybe we missed because we weren't looking for it? Did he end up touching Mom and that carrying it on? There's one thing of note with touching in the, uh, that just sounds wrong, um, with, with touching in the Stephen King universe, especially with Hearts and Atlantis, because Ted Brodigan was able to pass on his powers just by touching someone. Um, so... There's some more Stephen King stuff for it. Some more Stephen King lore, maybe. I don't know. Right, and if you watch the show Haven, the troubles, sometimes there's a trouble where it's a touch thing. So, eh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, uh, Johnny Smith from The Dead Zone, he touched people to get, you know, uh, to, to see into their future. That kind of thing. So, it's a running theme with Stephen King touching on I give it, I give you two. <laughs> okay, so we had a note of Juniper Hill, which of course is the same place where uh, the, the mid, no, I want to say the Midnight Man, it's, it's like the Graveyard Man or whatever she calls him in uh, Gerald's game, the tall, gangly dude uh, that hides in the corner. Um, but uh, he goes to Juniper Hill and Henry Bowers from It ends up in Juniper Hill along with some other people. Um, you can check out the, week, the wiki, 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 wiki. wiki. Wiki on uh, the Stephen King wiki to find out who all's been in Juniper Hill. There's like a list of five people. Um, hmm. Yeah, so we got note of that. The kid at the birthday party was named Gordy. I mean, Stand by Me, the body reference. It's yes, the same. That's a little obvious. Yeah, it's the same. Same. You know, it's, it's the same thing. The body. Well, the Stand by Me is the movie adaptation of the body. So also got butt naked Nick. Not sure I need to see Nick's butt. Uh, no. It's like no. seeing Pennywise naked, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's like, but, you know, it's whatever. You know, it's, it's a nice butt, I guess. It was a nice butt. She's not, she's not commenting. <laughs> no. No, nice butt. Um, okay, so, what happened? How did they, how did he get from being butt naked Nick to flannel wearing Nick in the car while Torrance Lady was smoking weed? Um... And of course, that was a very. Dude, she was high as a freaking kite. 
Why in the world would you want to do that with some strange stranger? Well, yeah. how did we get there? <laughs> this is some this is some real J.J. Abrams lost stuff where we just warp to another yes. scene yes. and we have no information on how they got there. I guess we can assume that she talked to her, but how do you how do you get into a conversation with a butt naked dude? And and the same hour day, whatever, maybe not hour, same time frame. End up in the truck smoking weed with him or car. Do you even want to what? try to hold a conversation with this person? Yeah, why not just run? Why are you like, ooh, there's some dangly bits. Let me <laughs> let me let me let me say what's up. Oh, no. um, you it's like ooh. Run. It's like ooh, penis. You know, far, far away. <laughs> yes, you run away. <laughs> so um, Torrance Lady literally Torrance. is named Torrance Lady <laughs> because of Jack Torrance and the Torrance family and The Shining and all that stuff. Literally. I mean, they didn't, that's not, that's not even a subtle drop. She said, no. she said at a hotel resort, chopped up his family with that, whatever. That's not what happened, though. Um, he didn't chop up his family because Wendy and Danny make it out. Hmm. Even, even in the... Even in the uh, the Kubrick version, they make it out. So I'm confused um, how they uh, how they say that he chopped up his family. Is it alternate? I guess it's all alternate reality. They're just trying to throw mm -hmm. down a, a thing. Uh, a what? A, just an Easter egg for the sake of it. But why go so hard with the Easter egg? That's what I want to know. Why, why be like, okay, here's a hard connection to The Shining. But not really because he didn't do that. Just whatever. Um, the, so most of this episode is just Nick being creepy? Uh, yeah, and Henry still not knowing anything. And what was up with, uh, what's her name? Ruth? Ruth telling him, uh, you don't know how no. it is to forget your own, yes, your own story. Sorry. Um, like, okay, yeah. How much has he forgotten that we don't actually know? But she said, you don't know what it feels like to forget your own story. Yeah, yeah. But he does. does I mean, does yeah. he know? Does he know what happened to him? Yeah, he that's, that's the, the thing. I mean, does he actually know and and he knows because of the flashes? Or right. I don't know. Does he actually have real memory of anything happening at all? Exactly. Um, Anyways, and now she, it's, it's not totally, I mean, yes, she has dementia or sundowner, um, Alzheimer's. Any number one, I guess they're saying that she has dementia in there. Yeah. Um, Sundowners is a, is, I used to work with, they used to work in an Alzheimer's ward. And Sundowners, literally, as soon as the sun goes down, they get confused. So, a very sad situation. Um, she's having some total recall, though. I mean, she's yeah. having, like, if you, if you recall, she's, she thought the dog was Cujo. Um, she said, I thought that dog was dead, and there's all different kinds of, hints to Cujo throughout the, the series so far. Um, but back to just Nick being creepy. Um, so he's he's a drawn to anger or bad shit? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's and then they... there was Lacey telling him that evil was following him. Yeah, and He was talking to him in, in the cell, the, the flashback thing. Yeah. That was odd. Lacey's just freaking weird. Yeah, I mean, Bible verses. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention last week was the, uh, the, hang on, I want to, he says the, no, that's the wrong note. He says, robed, dipped in blood. I'm not sure if that's a Bible reference, or if he's, or if, that when, when the, uh, deputy warden, I don't know, the guy who, who goes in to talk to him in episode four, um, Nick says that he, the, and he wore a robe dipped in blood. I mean, Crimson King reference, right? I mean, it might be from the, might be from the Bible, but I'm pretty sure that's Crimson King reference. Anyways, so I forgot to bring that up. I think there's something else from the last one that I forgot to bring up. Oh, uh, Desjardins' brother mm -hmm. lost the thumb and forefinger. Right. Uh, I think on his right hand. I think it was. Anyways, but who else lost a thumb and forefinger on their right hand? Forgot to mention that one. She don't know. She gonna, she gonna find out. She gonna, she gonna do the Dark Tower reread with us. Roland. You gonna make me, okay. No, I'm not gonna make you say. wait. Roland. Right. Yes. Well, I didn't want to spoil it, but I can go ahead and spoil it for you. Mm -hmm. But it, it happens really early on in the series, and he has to deal with it throughout. So, uh, anyways, going back to my notes. That's all my notes. Uh, of course, huge cliffhanger again. Um, so, what's yeah. it next? Not only does Nick 
aka what's his nuts, obviously. Um, <laughs> not only does Nick, not only does Nick touch people and maybe they suicide. Maybe those people are actually bad people, and he can help good people. I don't know because he said he can help Mama Henry. Yeah, he did at at the very, very last, last line. Wait, but I can wait, help her. wait, wait. Let's go back to Pangborn talking to Nick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that was yeah, that yeah. was something and else. Twenty-seven years ago. Twenty-seven years also. So Tracy I was right. Tracy had you in the back of a truck. Trunk. Go, go back. Yeah, that. Go back and watch the original yeah. videos. I thought I brought up what? twenty-seven years. Really? Yeah, he was in Trump. <laughs> and not aged a bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we. So obviously Nick is supernatural beyond yes. just touching on folks. <laughs> this episode, I'm just gonna call this episode "Touching on Folks." That would be touch touching on everybody. Touch. touch by touch. <laughs> um, but I. What did Pangborn? What did did Lacey have something on Pangborn? Is it really? Is it really that Pangborn just believed the dude? I mean, you've got a yeah. kid. It, well, it wasn't really a kid also because it, it, just, it clicked with me. Well, actually, it just clicked right now. He didn't have a kid in the trunk. He had, I mean, come on. Nick's a grown man. I mean, right, you, you call him a kid because he's young. If he has an age, if he has a young, age. then he had a, he had a grown man in his trunk. Right. So did did Pangborn think it was some kinky sex stuff? What what, did, I mean, what in the world did Lacey say to, to yeah. get away from Pangborn? How do you explain that? Uh, yeah. Because that's really convenient. If if Pangborn is like, okay, I believe you, dude. Just holla, you know? No. Uh, so um, I'm I'm hoping we get some Pangborn flashbacks and something. they they cover this yeah. because that's. Kind of big. Because the, the way they could fix it, it at this point is, and I'll just go ahead and throw some theories and some predictions out there. At this point, it'd be a matter of maybe uh, Lacey had something on Pangborn, Pangborn did some dirty stuff, right. you know, whatever it might be. Something along those lines, and, you know, that's why Pangborn didn't say anything. But Pangborn did tell Nick that he just believed him because the town was evil. That's right. some convenience. I don't, I don't know I'm not how to that put kind it. Of convenience. Yeah, That's exactly. Not fair. That's just too easy, man. I mean, to to open up that big of a can of worms and then to to explain it away by you are cheating your way through the storytelling. What the heck? She ain't even a writer, y'all. She knows this. Um, but I teach. It, she teaches. It me. is what it is. Um. So <laughs> did I I, I want to go ahead and say this is my favorite episode so far, only because we got creepy Nick. Um, and Creepy Nick is creepy. I mean, we got a little bit Pennywise. of plot development. Yeah. Is it what we really wanted? Kind of, but not really. Because <laughs> we, we got some more history on Nick, and that's I wanted that. And um, I guess the, the Zelensky story is over and done with with that telephone call the warden got, so nothing else from that. Nick is out of prison. Are we going to hear about the prison at all anymore beyond the connections to Lacey and Nick. Right. Um, is there going to be anything else? That's fine if they move on. I'm perfectly all right with it. But remember what we said last time. It felt like a season finale. Right. And now they're moving on to yes. a different this, aspect this of the This really story. did feel like season two, episode yeah, one. Yeah, that's, exactly, that, that's what it felt like to me. Um, and then, of course, that first season of every episode ends on a huge cliffhanger. Yeah. And this one yeah. was another huge so cliffhanger. So maybe this was one of those things where they thought they were only going to get five episodes and it turned into ten Four. Is that, well, I guess, well, yeah, because yeah. this was episode five. This was episode five. Right, so, what? Yeah, who knows, oh, hey, we're, we're here for the long haul, <laughs> folks, and for y'all out there going, why are you still watching the show if you don't like it? I never said I didn't like it, I said I got right. questions. I am critical of things that I enjoy, so. We will analyze the mess of a uh, B-rated horror movie. Yeah, we'll, we'll be in there talking, <laughs> we'll, we'll break down, like, the, the social schematics of friggin' Puppet Master. Yes. Uh, it, it's it's just what we do. It, we're we're an analytical couple. We're an analytical family. Yeah. Period. So just because we're critical of something does not mean we don't like it. Right. Just please believe that we're having fun. Or else, yeah, we prob I'd probably just continue on by myself and you know just not do this show at all. So anything else you want to add about no, episode five? No, I'm I'm just I'm really hoping that they advance this, and I see this probably going forward in a whole bunch of flashbacks. And if that happens, y'all. <laughs> I'm not here for all these flashbacks. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not cool. That's J.J. Abrams. I can feel it coming. Yeah, that's J.J. Mm. Abrams. And then Lost, well, most of oh, that yeah. show. Was... See, this is why I didn't finish Lost. Mm. I, I liked it. Nowadays, <laughs> it's like, uh-uh, I'm not part? touching it. Touch we're, we're, again. We're touch again. <laughs> she brought it full circle. I never even watched Lost, but I know that some a lot of the show is flashbacks of them yes. being before the island, that kind of thing. And even after the island, flashing back to when they were. 
on the island. Yeah. Is... <laughs> Anyways, so until next time, I have been E, you have been you. Shell is going to be down there in a the doobly doo. Down in there. <laughs> yeah. Just talk... don't touch me. <laughs>